Welcome to a new episode of Tony the Movie Guy, the podcast. This is movies you hate that everyone else loves. So I'm going to go ahead and roll it and enjoy the podcast. Hello, everyone. This is Tony the Movie Guy and Miss Money Any. Good evening, Mr. Bond. How are we this evening? I am very well. She wanted uh, something witty to say, <laughs> so, so she said it. Hey, that was pretty good. Yeah, that was pretty good. Um, and uh, I also thought it would be fun to have our, our lovely producer and my wife, uh, Danny, coming in um, to chip in her comments on this episode as well. So say hi, Danny. Hello, everyone. Hi, Danny. All right, I'm excited for this episode. This is going to be fun. Um, so a couple weeks ago, I did a poll that created a, an avalanche um, with, uh, you know, listeners and uh, fans of the movie, uh, Tony the Movie Guy page. And it was a lot of fun. And uh, the question I asked was, what's a film you hate that everyone else loves? And man, that was a, that was a fun question to ask. <laughs> I almost created World War Three. Uh, but the great thing about it was uh, it, no one took it too seriously. <laughs> People went nuts on each other, but everyone was a good sport about it, which I thought was, yeah, that was a big that relief. Was quite amazing. <laughs> that was a big relief. But there were literally like, uh, I think like 533 comments yeah. in total. It went on, it blew up my Facebook page for days and it was just a lot of fun. So I thought that would make a great episode, especially because I'm feeling kind of lazy and I've got a lot of that content <laughs> ready already right now. Um, but I thought I'd go through it. And then also we can kind of talk about it and uh, debate it. And that's why Danny can chip in. And uh, I thought it would be fun. Um, but for, before we do that, I wanted to kind of go over a few things now that we're a few episodes in and we're kind of rolling on this. I think we're having fun, right? Yeah. It's going well. Lots mm -hmm. of fun. Do you enjoy all the uh, editing, babe? No. <laughs> she does not. <laughs> just so you know, my wife, who is a... Uh, way smarter than me i'm just going to admit that to the world i'll second that yeah she will um I'll she third that. yeah thank you <laughs> motion passes it's, it's true um happy wife happy life um she spends hours editing everything for us and uh you know she's learned all that herself and i, I really appreciate she's everything the brains behind the operation and we love her she Literally. truly is yeah she puts everything together and you know so we have a final product to, to give to you all the listeners um so uh, anyway, uh, that's why I thought it'd be nice for her to come in every now and then and stuff like that. So I'm but, not um, in front of the computer nonstop and I can actually talk to people and not listen to my voice over a podcast over, over and over again. chained room in the back where yeah. you're chained to just the computer. Get out of the I office. Beaten her. to death by Tony. <laughs> I just yeah. sit in the office. Sometimes I bring some wine and I lock myself in there and then it's like 2 a.m. <laughs> and I'm like, actually, what happened? She vanishes for hours editing with a bottle of wine. <laughs> She's not that bad. Don't worry, but... Um, anyway, it's, it's only fun. bad when I finish it. Yeah. So anyway, I just wanted to comment on a few things because uh, we're getting nothing but positive feedback, which I really appreciate. Uh, people seem to really love the episodes and enjoy it. Um, you know, obviously we try and make sure they don't run too long, but, uh, you know, we all have a huge enthusiasm for movies. So uh, we have a lot to talk about. Um, one thing I did notice that kind of made me cringe a bit. And please, uh, listeners, tell me if it bugs you and I will really work on handling it. I noticed I'm, we're going to start like keeping a tally on how many times I say it's a funny thing or it's kind of a <laughs> funny story. I think I said it like 20 times in the last episode or charming seems to be my <laughs> go to word uh, or, uh, you know, I know I break out into song a lot and I can't say hey, that so can't go away. We love I know it. people seem to like that. <laughs> Um, I don't know. Anyway, I thought that was funny. And of course, I say it's a classic a lot, but that's just me. I'll never stop saying that. That's okay. It's exactly. only a classic, though, if you really think it's a classic. Otherwise, it's, it's like you give crappy reviews to great movies because it's not a classic. I know. Well, we did that episode already. And the funny thing was, after that, I thought of so many others. But of course. anyway, that, that was actually my, uh, the episode I personally had the most fun on because I really enjoyed talking about it. It was a lot of fun. But also, like, I felt it was. 
without sounding, you know, kind of obnoxious, it was very informative and Super. useful. Like I mean, you, you and Julie yeah. left with like a big list of movies. And I watched watch. two of them already last week. There you go. So Silence is, of the Lambs and Shawshank Redemption. So this is a productive and educational podcast, okay? Yes. Hey, hold on. Is she a great big fat person? I just had to say it. <laughs> so good. I know. So it's such funny. a deep cut quote now. <laughs> You're so good at that, too. I know. You, you sounded way too much like person. Buffalo Bill. Um, I'm really good at my Buffalo Bill. I've been practicing when I start okay. like murdering people. Really? Yeah. Okay, good. Well, it's, just, gonna be, it's, gonna be a, it's my murder voice. Well, don't murder me. All right. So here's what we're going to do, um, you know, because I know we don't have a lot of time. Uh, so the question we're posing is, what's a film you hate that everyone else loves? And you can absolutely uh, comment as well on Tony and the Movie Guy, the uh, Facebook page and uh, our Twitter and email to us your own ideas and suggestions. At uh, Tony the Movie Guy. There you go. But I'm just going to kind of go through uh, some of these with you because I thought this was uh, this was pretty crazy. Um so just to get the party started and really piss Yenny off, uh -oh. the first and uh, probably the one that the most people said was Jurassic Park. Are you out of your <laughs> damn mind? Like literally. What is wrong with you? <laughs> are you me. on? Are you on drugs? I, I like Jurassic. That is Park. not on one of those lists. Oh, like no, it's over, not. There were over a dozen comments. That is so not true. So You're a liar. I, well, what I did was I actually put some names of some of the people that actually came up with them and i didn't put that one because there were too many there were about oh a dozen. i was gonna say are we to call out people on the yeah. podcast well i'm thinking awesome. it's people i know i probably will call out <laughs> don't i will hate these people forever <laughs> so anyway again the question is the question is it's on uh, my top five it. movie I know. <laughs> I like well, it's on nearly five. everyone's top five movie but the question is what's a film you hate that everyone else loves so obviously this created a lot of mis emotion and it did with me too like even when i asked the question i had to brace myself and even remember you were like tony this is gonna really this upset you and i was like bad. i know but it's just too much fun so yeah jurassic park yanny I, I am People speechless. I am, I am literally. I am literally speechless. How wow. could you hate a Steven Spielberg production uh -huh. that has such an incredible score? Such, just alone. Okay, on the word hate. How can you hate a film that was a, a completely new revelation of its time? It had a beautiful score. Was filmed in Kauai in Hawaii. It was <laughs> so beautiful. Has makes you scream. It's action packed all the way through, and it's just it's a complete classic. It's a beautiful film. And so, yeah. It, 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 yeah. <laughs> all right, calm down. So, <laughs> no, so look, I need to go. Well, I need to set a stroke. Right? Originally, <laughs> like originally when I um, was going to do this episode, I wanted to print off all of the comments and all of the debates that went back and forth because again even though people lost their mind it was actually kind of heartwarming that people didn't get nasty you no, know what they I mean? did not. But like on Jurassic Park, literally, there was like, uh, you know, there were people who were like, it, it literally makes me vomit. It, it's ridiculous. And then people were like, wow. are you crazy? You're ruining my childhood. And anyway, it was pretty funny. I'm glad I didn't um, see those comments. Okay, good. The second one is Shawshank Redemption. Are you out of your yeah, mind? Who like doesn't some, like Shawshank someone Redemption? Someone said it was the most boring film <gasps> they had ever seen in their whole life. And it was so corny. And like, I was like, are you kidding me? It's like one of the most beloved films of all time. You don't um, have a, a Morgan Freeman impression for us, Tony? Right. I already did it. I already do busy, get, Well, you know that <laughs> you get... line. You know that line's actually <laughs> said by Tim Robbins. It's not oh, it said is. by Morgan. Freeman. No, but he repeats it in some of the montages. Maybe, yeah. yeah. He no, goes, in the you back, got... and he says, yeah. or at the end, he says, at the end, oh, right? Yeah. He writes in there the hotel room, "You gotta get busy dying." Oh, you gotta get busy. Yeah. Living. Oh no, Look, I was I... talking about the Andy Dufresne. Oh. <laughs> oh, I was about the get, get busy living and get get busy dying. Um, no, I always think of the voiceover of Morgan Freeman when he escapes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I don't remember. But anyway, I mean, spoilers. Shawshank Redemption is a classic. <laughs> it's incredible. Um, yeah, well, look, we don't do spoilers on new movies, on old movies. Yeah. It's free fall. I'm yeah, sorry. Totally. It's like if we're going to, if it's a movie that's been out for like decades, then we are going to talk about it. I'll still um, cover my butt and say spoilers. Yeah. Anyway, look, this, <laughs> this, this is, strap yourself in because this just gets worse. Are you really, yeah, well, the next is Star Wars trilogy. Everything Are you Star Wars. Kidding me? Yeah, there were so many people who thought that they were wow. hokey and like. Do you have the, the names thing. of people to call out on that? Because I wanted. To I them. I wrote remain anonymous for their own safety. That's okay. Good. Um, because Danny that's... will be after you, and she will literally kill you. Well, they're, they're masterpieces yeah. to me. I'm a huge Star Wars fan. Yeah, but okay. you don't have a desire to kill people, so I'm no, more worried I, I about don't. her. Neither does she really. I don't, um, if the police are listening. Yeah. Okay, here's one I, I actually kind of agree with, although obviously hate is a strong word. Memento. 
I um, agree with that one. I actually don't like that film. I agree much with that anymore. one. I didn't like it. Well, see, no, when it came out, I loved that film and it really has not aged well. Um, it's just a perfect example of a film that doesn't recently, age well. And I only saw it recently, so that makes yeah. sense. Um, I don't hate it, but that's why, you know, I'm going to go over some of mine at the end, but um, I don't have a lot because I'm, I'm not that hateful towards movies. I, I like most things or I just kind of skip them. Um, okay, another one was Silver Lining Pl- uh, Playbook. Oh, wow, um, I love I actually, that I think film. that's a good movie. A it lot of people falls, hate that. It kind of falls into, like, the 500 Days of Summer camp for me where I've, like, I've just seen it too much. I know. Oh, really? And then you start like, to resent it. <laughs> I right. just thought that that alone the chemistry between the two characters was enough to hold me through that one. Yeah. No, I, it was good. I, I thought yeah. it was great. I, I, I just think the, I've seen it too. Yeah, much. I thought the acting yeah. was terrific. That film actually surprised me. I really yeah, enjoyed it. Was it. Nice. it. It I was feel... amazing, okay. but it was yeah. Yeah, I feel like a lot of these movies are going to be like kind of like when you hear a new song on the radio and you're like, "Have you heard this song? It's amazing." Mm. Yeah, well, the and then you hear it is... so many times, you're like, "I hate this song." Yeah, <laughs> totally. I just said the funny thing is again, but anyway, now I'm going to be really self conscious of it. But look, I just met you. Here's what's funny. Funny is obviously these are everyone's different opinions um and you know maybe some people said it just to get you know oh, people stirred up is but, travis simington on there for example yeah, i'm for sure, sure that's but what no, he did but a lot of the, the comments and debates <laughs> way to call someone a out. lot of the comments and debates were actually very sincere and that's what made it even more entertaining um i'm going to carry on go okay? on go on go this on is, this will this take us all fascinating. night fascinating yeah okay so gladiator um, I, I mean, I loved that movie. I know when I went over Gladiator on one of the other episodes, you and uh, Juju were like, I, eh, I don't, okay. I don't dislike or f- fascinatingly like it. It's it's a good, decent film. I it's not it. something I love. All right, well, this one will really drive you crazy. Forrest Gump. So that, <gasps> a lot of people could not stand it. Well, here's what's funny. I told you that's a film that has been depreciated by critics as well over the last 20 years. I, I don't know why. I think that film is phenomenal. And I think it stands... The test of time and again when i saw it when it first came out i liked it but i didn't love it i've fallen in love with it over the years through subsequent oh uh, i've loved it i, since I mean the i love first it first time i saw it but it does definitely increase in time yeah um but i'm personally offended by whoever yeah it. i'm personally offended too. yeah yeah well i left a lot of names out so i'll probably start putting some in for fun i'm gonna go back and look at that post so i can start <laughs> yeah they're all there they're all documented um okay uh, you got napoleon dynamite got a lot of hate um i love that movie but i will tell you the first time I, well the first time i watched it i was like this is the dumbest thing i've ever seen i felt the same way and then i watched it again and i fell in love with it the thing it's about weird. Napoleon Dynamite is it's a funny movie that's meant to be funny, but takes itself so seriously, yeah. so you don't know if it's funny or not. Right. And the humor is just so odd for you, you know? <laughs> yeah. Vote for Pedro. God, Tina, come get your food. <laughs> Gosh. Yeah, anyway. Um, all right, let's see. Uh, okay, I, I'm going to name names. You know this guy. Sebastian Carlson. Avatar. Seb. Avatar. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That one's for you, Sebastian. Anyway. He's someone we know from England. Yeah, no, childhood friend I used to play with when I was nine years old. <laughs> well, there you go. Well, look, Avatar is uh, the most popular film of all time, box office wise. I guess I should say I the most it. successful film of all time. $2.7 billion. Now, when I watched Avatar, when it was released in the theater in 3D, it was an incredible experience. Mind blowing. It was like nothing yeah. I had seen before. I have watched it a few times since, and it's still good. Yeah. Um, but it isn't amazing. But do I hate it? No. You yeah, know? it's a good movie, but it's not like the best movie in the world. No. And I don't hate it. It's just like, eh, Well, there were a okay few people who me. commented, you know, the film with those weird, tall, blue people, you know. They're blue cats. They're <laughs> who blue really cats. did it's hate the blue it. cat movie. A lot of hate for Wolf of Wall Street. You know, that's a interesting you say that because I've had that. Uh, it's uh, it's a very mixed ball with that movie. That Some of my friends of the detest that film. Yeah. People even I guarantee you I know who commented on that. <laughs> Um, because she told me she walked out of the theater. Oh, really? I then w- went on to watch it, and I found it a fascinating I movie. Love that oh, movie. I loved it. Yeah, I loved I it. I think. Look, I understand the subject matter is oh, so batshit crazy. Totally. And Leonardo DiCaprio and Scorsese did that intentionally. They yeah. really wanted to show the just madness. how nuts yeah. these people went. You know, with all that power and greed. Um, mm-hmm. I thought that film was fantastic. I thought it was so, I loved it. Yeah, that was like what? Like people were yeah. literally there was all, uh, uh, actually a lot of people who said they walked out of the theater. Wow. Um, anyway, I thought that was interesting. Okay, this one really pissed me off. Donnie Darko. Yeah, I've heard that a couple of times. 
Well, you know what it was. Uh, a lot, a lot of the people were like, it, it made absolutely no sense. Right. They didn't know what the hell was going on. They thought right. it was just so weird. It's just about a big bunny, and <laughs> you know. And look, I get that. Honestly, but, if you don't understand yeah. it, that is what it, it would be like. Some big drug trip if you can't follow yeah. it. And honestly, without you, I wouldn't have been able to. So I do understand that. Yeah. Oh, this one was funny. And uh, again, this uh, this person will r- remain anonymous for their safety. They wrote all those goddamn stupid Marvel movies. Who the hell said that? I know exactly who said it, but I'm not going to put it Just there. whisper it to me. I'll turn off the mic. Literally. Uh, you know. I'm sorry, oh, but the way they said that is funny. Oh, look. There was someone who wrote, I remember this, almost verbatim. You guys are going to hate me, but here goes. And it was literally like Star Wars, all those Hobbit movies, all those Lord oh of the Rings God. movies, all those Marvel that was stupid intentional. hero movies. No. They no. Actually, that's the thing. And people are you sure commented, it wasn't Trevor? People commented and were like, are you serious? And like, I just can't stand them. I'm sorry. It's not for me. Like the comments and wow. the debates were really funny. But as I said, everyone was like, a, you know, a teammate about it. Sure. You know, a good sport about it is what I mean. You know, no they one didn't got, get political. I, they just didn't get nasty. <laughs> you know, exactly. in this climax, people political. get so nasty and they didn't. Yeah. It was fun. What? I mean, it wasn't like a one of those like giant forums where you put something on Twitter and everyone's like, I'm going to murder your family because you have a different opinion than me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. yeah. So let's not say stuff like that. So the thing is, is when I do things like that on, you know, look, I mean, we all know in this internet day and age, people put opinions and their ideas in writing on the internet that they would never say to people of in course. person. And unfortunately, people get very malicious and, you know, spread a lot of hate. So I don't do that. I tend to do it, use it for good and positivity. Totally. And I really try and hold myself back to comment on things um, because I don't want to start like a debate. Um, this, again, I just thought would be interesting. We just kind of kept it fun and entertaining. You both are like sneezing and holding your sneezes in. What's going on? Oh, I was coughing. Oh, okay. All right, I'm going to carry on. Uh, maybe there's like too much dust in the air or something. All right, so um, <laughs> this was funny. Someone said the, the weird Jim Carrey movie. And then I remember going back and forth with a bunch of people, like the weird Jim Carrey movie. Anyway, they meant the eternal sunshine of a spotless mind, oh, which I love. Which I didn't like. Again, I actually understand why some people think that that film is, uh, you know, they just don't understand it, basically. But maybe it's just not the oh, type of movie. Yeah, that was Brad Stryker. There you go. I'm going to call them out. Um, okay, good. 500 Days of Summer, quite a few people said. Including yeah, me. Quite a few people said that they didn't uh, like it. That's on my list. Just Personally, so you know. I loved it. Don't okay, worry. I thought this was interesting. Uh, Vince Queso, who's a good dude, he said Fight Club. What? He said Fight Club. Oh, a few people said Fight Club. Not a lot, but a few Club. people did. Vince. I just thought that was interesting coming from a dude. But again, it's, you know, people have their own opinion. I love Fight Club. Brilliant when I saw movie. it when it came out, I was like, what the hell is this? But I, uh, I've appreciated it more and more the more I see it. Okay, The Dark Knight. That Trevor. came up a few times. I was I like, knew. I was like uh, that's going to no, kill that's Tony. Trevor's so, favorite okay, movie. Okay, so Trevor says it as a joke when he texts Tony. Trevor's a friend get, of ours. If they get in arguments about movies, he just goes, Dark Knight sucks, got to go by. <laughs> and that's how he ends the conversation. If they're in a movie argument. No, that's because we were debating another movie and The Dark Knight is one of Trevor's favorite movies of all time and mine too. And then we were texting about something and I just made like an offhand comment before I had to leave like, well, The Dark Knight's not perfect either gotta go by and he was like what you can't fucking leave it like that you can't just text me the dark knight sucks by <laughs> gotta go it's like my favorite movie so yeah it's become a thing now but anyway that's like an inside joke yeah let's just explain that joke. yeah okay crash so this is an interesting one crash was it's a an best interesting one. picture winner mm-hmm. and that film is one of the perfect examples of a movie that has become really devalued like critically and also just by general kind of consensus People really don't seem to like that movie. I actually think that film's quite good. I understand yeah. um, as an overall film, it's not amazing. It's got that incredible scene with Matt Dillon saving mm-hmm. uh, Sandy Newton from the car crash. Yeah. And that incredible scene with Michael Pena yeah. and his daughter. Yeah. Which I, those two scenes alone elevate that film for me. But I guess I understand otherwise. But that film got a lot of hate. And it's interesting that that's a film that uh, critics think was like, Incredible. How did that? No, they oh, bad. now they're like, how the hell did that movie win a, a, the best picture? And they, they really don't think it's very good. Okay. And a lot of you'll hear a lot of people talking about that as well. It's Interesting, kind of well known. Wonder Woman got quite a lot of hate. Really, I was surprised. That's 
Yeah, Wonder Woman got quite a lot of hate. Some people were saying it was like the worst one. Now again, this is all in good sport, but you know, uh, but um, I, I thought that was fantastic. I wow. thought it was a really well. Yeah, well I just film. watched it twice. Okay, here's the next one, which I kind of agree with, but again, I don't hate it. Interstellar. So me and Trevor, mm-hmm. who's a friend of uh, ours, we have debated that through and through. He doesn't he, like Interstellar. I thought it was okay, but it had. Oh, certain, I loved it. I don't like it. It had. Oh, I didn't don't hate like it. it. Oh, I didn't okay. hate it. See, I, I didn't it hate can't, it. It can't yeah. go on my hate list. Right. But I did not like or love it. I was That's like, Meh. well, look, I guess I'm a lover and not a hater because, again, as I told you, there's very few on my hate list. But I will tell you that um, I didn't think it was the masterpiece that everyone else thought it no, was. Me no, I saw it. so, especially for a film that was trying so hard to be like scientifically accurate, mm-hmm. I thought there were so many really glaring plot holes, mm-hmm. you know, which maybe one day I'll dissect. But so Trevor and I have had a lot of really uh, amusing debates over that. He loves it. And a lot of people love it, but there was quite a few people who were just like, it was so slow. It was so boring. So Danny, you out of us who liked it the most, what do you like most about it? It's just the whole thing. I think it's very artfully done. I think it makes sense to me. It took me, it's kind of like Inception where it like took a bit, like kind of got confusing and muddled at times, but like I watched it maybe twice and I was like, I totally get it. It's totally fine. Hmm. Okay. Well, I don't want to go on a whole roll and into celebrate. but here's a perfect example of some things that really bugged me. So, he discovers this plane thing that drops and he drives for like a day, discovers this like NASA headquarters in the middle of nowhere somewhere, you know, seemingly accidentally. And then immediately they're telling him that they want him to be their pilot, you know, for the last mission to save planet Earth. Yeah, that that made absolutely no sense to me. It, it you know, doesn't. there were there were several things like that that I was just like, for a film that's so complex and scientifically accurate, it really bugged me. But look, it, I mean, it was so well done, you know. Uh, um, but again, I you know I'm a critic, so sometimes I do dissect it, and I would never say I hate it. I thought it was a good film, yeah, uh, with some real faults. Uh, but anyway, that got some hate. Um, all right, Maya. Our friend, our good friend Maya. Wiener, this is the calling people out actually. podcast. Actually, uh, Maya, <laughs> how dare you? Get her to how listen to this. How dare you? Uh, oh, 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 Maya, we are going to have words, my yeah, friend. Anyway, I mean, love my, actually. Uh, anyway, you should have seen the comments on that. Oh. Like, you have no soul. <laughs> you're dead to me. But again, it, you know, everyone. You was are friendly dead about to me. It. No, yeah, we love you, Maya. But anyway, love actually is just a total feel-good movie. So that's ridiculous. Uh, Okay, good. All the Fast and Furious movies. So I kind of agree with that one, actually. Oh, you, you know, know how I feel about yeah. you about feeling about that. Yeah. yeah, but anyway, a lot of people hated on those. <laughs> that made no sense. I, know. <laughs> I just looked at Danny and went, wait, The funny what? thing is my what wife, Danny, she loves the one that is like the most despised. Uh, the Tokyo Drift. Yeah, Tokyo Drift Which is, is the terrible. one that Danny loves with the most. With a bunch of actors <laughs> that can like. Yeah, with Han. Yeah, because Hans yeah, is. Yeah. I love, he's in like four or five of them. But anyway. I know, but he's in that one. Like, no, uh, I Han. liked one, two, uh, three, four, and five. Those I found entertaining, but the rest yeah. are awful. I, thought, I think it's movies that you see when you're like a young teenager, like between 12. Don't lie. We well, watched that, it again like a year oh, yeah, ago, no. and you loved oh, I, it. I know. But the movies <laughs> that you fun. see for the first time between you're like 12 and 14 or 15, like they kind of stick with you yeah. a little bit more. And that's when, about, when I saw that movie, and I was like, oh my God. And in all honesty, yeah. I had such a huge crush on Paul Walker. And yeah. the minute that was done, I, I hated the movies, honestly. Right. I still have yeah. the whole soundtrack on my phone. Sure. Well, look, as I said, the first one was like dumb, but mildly entertaining. And then, oh my God, they just got worse from there. So I, I, I guess I do actually kind of agree with that. Uh, but, but whatever. I mean, they make so much money. And they'll keep no, making. I don't like them either. It's fine. Okay, The Notebook got a lot of hate. Um, I didn't, again, I don't hate it, but I thought that was interesting. A lot of people couldn't stand it. You know, funny thing is it's a good movie. I think it's a great uh, romance film. Uh, I'd say good, but it, it got so much hype as an incredible right. romance when right. really, I don't know, that maybe film that's isn't, why. It's not very real watchable. That's no, what I actually it's found. Not. Because the first time I saw it, I finally gave in to watch it because it had Gosling in it, who yeah. I love. And I was like, that oh, was kind of sweet. But then I tried to watch it again. I actually watched it with Danny and she was like, God, that was so cheesy. And I, know. I was like, God, it really I was. I actually <laughs> feel the same way on the yeah. second time. Mm-hmm. All right, this is offensive. Claire Harper from England said The Matrix. Oh, dear. I'm not anyway. a big fan of The Matrix. Well, I wouldn't say suck. I hate it, but I'm not a big fan. 
it Matrix not, is like uh, groundbreaking, one of the yeah. best films of all time. I mean, but especially for Neo. It's, but everyone yeah. has their own taste, and it's he just is not the my one. taste. I know. <laughs> Trust me. Again, I understand that, and I agree, and that's why I brace myself for this. I just think it's a really entertaining and kind totally. of also an interesting debate. But that is the point. It's okay to have your own opinion. Yeah. I, like it's it, viewpoint based. It doesn't genuinely offend me that someone no. hates something that I like. And vice versa. I think that's okay. And that's what I thought was interesting about that kind of forum that we opened up a couple of weeks ago. And it was just, it, it was just, it was kind of crazy. Um, anyway, yeah. So uh, the Hobbit movies, the Hobbit movies have quite a lot of hate. And I really didn't think they were terrible. They just, they weren't on the same level of no. quality of the Lord I, I of the Rings films, of course. Yeah. I like the okay. Hobbit movies. All right. The Hangover got a lot of hate too. Which I, I thought was weird. Yeah, I love it too. They're not very rewatchable, especially the, the sequels. Is. But the first one's yeah, pretty damn I've good. I've rewatched that probably five times. Yeah. That's fun. Okay, so here's another one. American Beauty got quite a lot of hate. And again, that's one I think I've mentioned before. That is a film that when it came out was very acclaimed, very successful. Kevin Spacey won the Oscar. And over the years, it's been really depreciated by critics. I personally love that movie. And I think it's phenomenal. Have you seen it recently? Yeah, I, I rewatched it. I've seen it twice. I rewatched it Not about two fan. years ago. I, I consider it overrated. Mm. It's it's very well acted yeah. by Kevin Spacey, but it's a little too artsy weird for me. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Okay, this next one, I'm going to call him out. David Gutierrez <laughs> hates kick-ass. You bastard. Oh, How can you God. hate kick-ass? You are not a David. man. <laughs> no, he is a man. Really? But, yeah, anyway, Kick-Ass Kick -Ass is like one of my favorite films of the last decade. I love that movie. So entertaining. I think it's a genius film. Um, anyway, Saturday Night Fever. I was surprised. I got Ugh. some hate. Are you kidding yeah, me? Yeah, I love that movie, It has man. the, like... Not fever, not... Damn it, I'm breaking the <laughs> It has the babe. best thing ever, which is disco. Okay, cue the Bee Gees. I'm not going to sing the Bee Gees. <sighs> well, but disco is probably sing. my favorite it, genre uh, of music. Uh, and what? I love it. Staying alive. Is it that yeah, one? Yeah, yeah. Staying alive. Were you singing? Okay. <laughs> I don't sing, Tony. <laughs> I think I did Tony. a better job. <laughs> anyway. You just sang the wrong song. Yeah, that, no, no, that's he's from sung, it as he's well. Night, Night Fever, Fever is from it. And oh. Staying Alive is <laughs> just another Fever, song. Night Fever, Night Fever. Oh, one. there you go. Okay, yeah. She okay, knows how I get to do it, it now. All right. So, uh, Beetlejuice. Interesting. What? I got quite a lot of hate. When Apparently, I was little, I hated that film. Really? I, it, was, it scared oh. me. It was horrifying. Oh, and then I rewatched it. it and I liked it. Because you were okay. a giant baby. I was a giant baby. Okay, Frozen. <laughs> yes. You hate Frozen? I hate Frozen. Really? So when we I'm first watched, we first watched Frozen with Serena and Matt. And me. And, and oh, we you rented were with it. Us so when we first watched yeah. it, it was Serena and Matt. I no, it wasn't there. We didn't watch it in theater for the first time. I watched it in theater for the first time. No, with it was Amy on Slate. No, it was in DVD. Frozen. Yeah. Okay, I watched it with someone. I don't want to have was, a big argument It was with about me, it. Sarah Beth, and Serena, okay, and it was good. we rented it at your place for like fifteen dollars, and yeah, we like hated 20 it. Bucks. No, we yeah. bought it because we bought it. Stand That's it. right. Yeah. And here's the funny thing: we've watched it a few times since then, and now we kind of like it. Uh, we kind of come round. Yeah. Well, you know, when I saw the, I went to Disneyland and we watched the. They have a Frozen show. Oh, they do. I kind of oh, liked yeah. it, and I was they like, do. oh, maybe I should rewatch Frozen. Maybe now I would like it. But currently, as it stands, I am not a fan of the film. Yeah. We anyway, own it I mean, I, so I kind of enjoy it. It's a very popular film. Um, but I mean, it broke my heart when Julie said she had never even seen Monsters Inc. And oh, it was just God. a film that just kind of flew past her. It's like one of my favorite movies. Love okay, Monster this one, I mean, come on. Inception. Oh, dear. It's such oh, a dear. good movie. It's such a classic movie. All right, uh, this one's for you, Yenny. Uh, uh -uh. Bridget Jones's Diary. Yeah, I mean, I get it. Some people, it's not their cup of tea. I can, I can understand that. Yeah. I this, can. And this next I love one, it though. I know it, it's cute. I'm not a big fan, but let's see. I don't hate it. Um, this one got quite a few tallies. I, I was like, this is like people were like, you're ruining our childhood. It's quite a few people said Toy Story. Really? Toy Story. <laughs> Anyway, I thought that was funny. Toy Story uh, is the best thing that's ever happened. It's not the best thing, but it's it's a classic. It's, it's fantastic. I love Toy Story movies. Okay, uh, Nathan Light said it, it it follows, and I actually kind of agree with him on that. That was a really acclaimed it was? horror movie. Oh, oh my god, really acclaimed! I didn't know it was that acclaimed. And I thought it was so boring. I I wasn't a big fan. Again, I don't hate it, but actually, that one probably would go on my list. Like. People seemed to really like it. Critics loved it. And I was like, it was so It wasn't boring. great at all. It wasn't scary. It was boring. It was yeah, slow. It was slow. really stupid. Nathan's a big horror movie person Yeah, he's well. a great like, movie. He, that's his genre. So. Yeah. Yeah. And I just thought that was really, 
really no, interesting. I agree with that. I, I forget who I watched that with. I think I watched it with Sarah Beth. We were like, this is really slow and not scary. Actually, this one would be on my list. Uh, Ocean's Eleven. Never seen it. Really? Okay. Yeah, I, I actually don't like those films at all. They did like three of them. And yeah. The cast was phenomenal. You know, Matt Amazing. Damon, George Clooney, Brad Pitt, etc. I mean, huge cast. Um, Steven Soderbergh, I think, directed um, that one for sure. I'm not sure about the others. I, uh, you know, again, hate is such a harsh word, but I was not fans of those. I mean, those were really popular movies. Have you seen those? I did. I watched all of them. Uh, I really enjoyed the first one when it came out for its time. But yeah, then it just lost. I lost interest. Yeah. Anyway, this film, actually, I've had to defend quite a lot. This next one, Independence Day. Oh, good. I, I love that film. How could I mean, you not I, like Independence look, I know it's, Day? Well, it is quite cheesy and hammy, but still, come it, on. It's my childhood. It's Independence Day. Yeah. Cars is another one, which actually I, I don't like that very much. I think Cars is one of the weakest... Uh, Pixar movies. Do you like Cars? I like the original, yeah. Danny's like squinting her eyes at me. You do? Yeah, yeah I, I love it. The original is good. I was not a fan. Baby Driver got some like negativity. Wow. It's only been out for a few months. I mean, gosh, give it give it a chance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but there were some people who thought it was really stupid. You know, someone said it was really pretentious. So I was like, pretentious? It pretentious. It's really smart, super fun. Anyway, again, uh, no one take offense. We're just going through this. I wish I could have read some of the comments. I, I've remembered a lot of them. Groundhog Day. I don't understand that. Groundhog Day. It's on no, my but, list. Yeah, because I've heard that from a few people. That's on your list too. You yeah. have to whisper. We're doing a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Yanni whispered it's on my list. You can tell. But I, it's okay. I won't beat you up. But I, I've heard that from a few I, people. I'm an you an an Andy McDowell hater it? right here. Danny's never seen it. Yeah, so Yenny, for whatever reason, has a she's distaste so for Andy annoying. McDowell. Yeah, I, I, and I personally can't like him. Act. Magic okay. Mike too. All right, uh, that's such a weird <laughs> reference. <babe. laughs> it is because I don't even remember because her it's in the it. Perfect movie. She's in it for like ten she's minutes. She's not. It's know? not like she's the thing I'm looking she's not at the in star that movie of it at all. Right, uh, no one's looking at Andy McDowell and Magic Mike two. No, we're we're talking about Magic Mike two way too long here. So let's um, carry on. Yeah, I I, I also found it. It was like really worked up to me as this great, funny, incredible movie, and I was like, yeah. yeah. Oh, so here it is. Actually, I did write their name. It was Camellia Beatty. She said, "All right, you're all gonna hate me, but." All the Harry Potter movies, all the Star Wars movies, all those Hobbit movies, all those Lord of the Rings movies, she's gotta be. and Spaceballs. Oh, she's, Balls. she's totally no, joking. No, she was totally serious. No, she's not. No, it went back and forth. You know, and again, those are like her, all my favorite opinion. movies right now. I know. Now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Except, I mean, Star Wars are not my favorite. I didn't know they're yours. I, I love the, them. I the uh, sad crying emoji. It probably would be a thousand really times. Really funny. Okay, Sarah Beth, Pulp Fiction. Hmm. What? <laughs> You no. guys were like silent. No, I just, I, I, like I, I remember fiction. that. I knew that. And I, you yeah. know, honestly, the first time I saw Pulp Fiction, I was like, okay. It didn't get I me at all. Movie. And then the second time I watched it when I was older, right. I really appreciated it's it. It's funny. It's just people's opinions, isn't it? It's just, mm -hmm. a, yeah. you know, and some people really do take it personally. <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay. Zoolander. <laughs> I mean, okay. That film's stupid, but man. Love it. I actually think the it original, could quite yeah. possibly be one of the funniest movies ever made. Yes, That's an American classic. Yes. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's a it comedy is. classic. For it sure. is. It has everything you need. It has Billy Zane. It has <laughs> David Bowie. It has a great soundtrack and orange mocha frappuccinos. And uh, what else do you Blue need Steel, in a movie? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty amazing. Okay, Team America World Police. Come on. I've never been able to get through it. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> it's been started here like puppet three times. Sets. Come on. <laughs> I hate puppet movies. <laughs> So good. Uh, okay, Kill Bill. That got quite a lot of hate. Love. Never I seen it. I love Kill Bill. What? Really? I can't. There's too much blood and guts. Oh, but it's it for me. yeah, good. but actually, it, can't it, do it. it's choreographed kind of differently. It changed can't the black it. and white. And anyway, whatever. Nope. Up. I can't believe Up got quite. Who a said bit they of hated hate. Up? People with no souls. I know. It's such a feel-good movie. Inside Out got quite a lot of what? You don't like Up? No. We're I cringing. <laughs> It's not. It's not on my hate list. That's no, for sure. It's you. adorable. Yeah. I've watched the beginning about three times, and as soon as I get to the part with the bird, I, I stop watching. So you've the never movie. finished I've it. I've never finished. Well, you need to watch it. I know. It's, it's a great movie. Yeah, Inside Out, same thing. I didn't okay. like that. Really? No. See, again, we watched it the first time. This it's like is an LSD why, trip. Yeah, I'm gonna make a, a note here. This is why I actually do really recommend watching movies a few times. I agree with that. Because it's incredible what you can pick up from them. Yeah. No, Inside Out. Um, when we first watched it, it was like, meh, and it got so much acclaim, and, and then we watched it again, and now we've maybe seen it three times, so now we kind of enjoy it. But it's not fantastic. 
Okay, Hunger Games. I actually liked the first one, and I read the book in like a couple days. I liked the first and second. Yeah, well, the other ones I couldn't stand. I mean, really? I actually couldn't stand them, but the first one I thought was quite good. Um, okay, Moulin Rouge. Mm. I actually don't That's think that film's film. aged very well. Yeah, yeah, and it just it hasn't aged very well. Okay, The Tree of Life. Did you ever see that? I didn't. Yeah, it's a Terrence Malick film. That film was so confusing, so I understand that. Um, La La Land. That got, like, shat on quite a bit. Did you wow, like La La Land? Wow, I loved La I La Land. It, yeah. yeah. There was a lot of people who were literally like, Emma Stone can't dance, can't sing. And I was like, what? Yeah, you know, which that's I not real fine, to me, you know. But, yeah, that's, that's not true. <laughs> it's fantastic. Um, and then Drive is another one. Um, which you don't like, the Ryan Gosling film. A lot of yeah, people I mean, thought his performance another... was so muted and weird, but I thought it was phenomenal. I'd give it another chance. I would. I mean, it's not a hater. I just didn't enjoy it. Okay, and I thought this was funny. Dumb and Dumber, which, remember, that brings us <laughs> back to our very first episode. Yeah, really. It's called Dumb and Dumber. It's, it's so stupid, you know, uh, and it's so funny. I love that I movie. even enjoyed the second one, which was even dumber. <laughs> I liked dumber it too. <laughs> I actually did. It was really good. Um, yeah, so actually, we went through that one quite fast. I mean, I only, as I told you, I only have a few other ones. You know, hate is a, a strong word. And again, this is all in good fun. So uh, and this isn't people who are just like, yeah, it, totally. It was really just kind of, it was just interesting what came up. You know, but Citizen Kane is, is right. a good example of a film that I, I tried to watch it a few times. I tried to watch it again recently. I find it very boring. I don't like it. The Exorcist is another one. It's like one of the most acclaimed so horror sorry. movies. I, I'm not a fan. And another one that I don't get for myself, and it makes me worry about my masculinity, is No Country for Old Men. You mentioned like, that. Well, men love that film. And I think a lot of people like it, but I just... Yeah, it's got some okay parts, but I just don't get it. And mm. then we already touched upon this on the classics with the uh, Juju, but Annie Hall is another oh, right. really acclaimed film that the only thing I kind of remember is Diane Keaton. I mean, she's kind of quirky and charming in it, but I'm not a fan of that movie, really. Uh, that's it, really. Uh, do you have any others you wanted to mention? I have one that you're going to disagree with, which is Her. Oh, see, we love that movie. Yeah, yeah. I, well, it's kind of an art piece. Spike John's uh, Joaquin Phoenix, whatever his name who, is. Joaquin. You know, Joaquin. Joaquin Phoenix. <laughs> okay, the names. thing about Joaquin Phoenix, <laughs> I, I really, I mean, I, I loved him in um, Walk the Line. He was right. incredible. Yeah, was I love that film. Um, in other films I've seen him in, I don't like him. Really? Other than that film. When I watched her, to me, it was like, it was very played up as this beautiful artsy but romantic wonderful film and to me it was like a guy talking to a radio the whole time and uh, it, I, I, it was just so i was I so love, not into it i mean look it is a very artistic film I but I, I generally yeah. like artistic oh, films uh, that one i was like this yeah, is i thought scarlett ridiculous. johansson did incredible voice work and uh, yeah i, I thought yeah. it was a beautiful film. so i have okay. that one uh people love that i don't like it at all it would definitely go almost on like if you're gonna say hate i mean it's a, again a strong we're all word. nice people so it's a strong yeah. word but i get it it's one um, you don't care for right this is uh obviously a little bit more on the uh what do you say popular side and you might agree with this especially the later ones is transformers i i can't do anything oh, with transformers yeah, movies don't worry <laughs> those films at all look, um, the first one was enjoyable but it was still kind of ridiculous to me. right but it was enjoyable but the rest are just i mean michael bay destroyed that franchise it's yeah. anyway don't get me started Ugh. so yeah. yeah they're terrible and then the only one other ones I have are um I I was not a big fan of Atonement. Really? Um wow, I love Atonement. I, I hated um, Kira Knightley in it. James McAvoy? I love him so as an actor. I love God, him as an actor. Beautiful. And that it, it definitely has some good filmmaking. I'm not gonna disagree, but as a film really didn't like really? it really yeah. didn't like well, it well that's why there's thousands of movies but there you yeah. go i mean it's very interesting um i don't know if that was, was as en- yeah i don't know if that was as entertaining on a podcast as it was <laughs> just like debating what about danny Facebook. do you have any to Did add you have any others, that, that ones that you like that others people like adore that you really don't like anything you can think of there's only one that i thought of from the get-go with this question what's the film you hate that everyone else loves i don't know if everyone else loves it though because i think it got pretty it? mixed bag of reviews arrival oh god i hated oh, yeah. arrival 
But you I hate, I I hated hated it. Arrival. No. No, actually, no. that really I does fit. So Arrival, totally fits. That's actually a perfect example. Yeah, Remember, we spoke about that. On, I told like, him I hated it when s- I came out of the theater. A steamy pile of shit. Like, yeah. I cannot. It was such I cannot. A pile of harsh. Shit. David and I sat there at the end and were like, what the hell was that? I remember. I told you. guys you. thought it was like a big science yeah. fiction action movie. Yeah. So here's the thing. I mean, that's uh, Denis, Denis Villeneuve, who is directing <laughs> the Blade Runner movie that oh, I okay. can see tomorrow. It looks phenomenal and he did sicario and prisoners and i love loved. those movies and you're right actually that's a great way to you know kind of end this a good note to end yeah. this on because that's a perfect example that film was so critically acclaimed and i i and, and people seem to love it actually it was very divisive <laughs> steaming half of the shit. people yeah Danny, that, was horrible. Big steaming that, was, shit. that was brilliant but no half half of my friends seemed to love it and think it was like a masterpiece and then half of them were like it was a big steaming pile of shit. <laughs> I'm know? on that. I'm on that. Boat. And I'm on that side too because I did not get it. So yeah. anyway, and I um, get and like you from the beginning, I knew I knew the whole story. Right. I, I just it out I was myself. like, well, yeah. obviously, blah 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 blah. I'm not going to really say it on that one because some of you may still have not seen it, but it was just to me very um, ridiculous. Yeah, I get it. Anyway, so look, the takeaway from this is uh, everyone has a right to their own opinion, especially in this climate. Totally agreed. Everyone should just be good sports about it. That's why there's such a huge range in selection. Um, but yes, if you don't like Blade Runner, you're Except dead to my me. Except my eye will never forgive you for not liking Love Actual. Yeah, and if you don't like Blade Runner, you're dead to me. Good night. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but anyway, that's pretty much it. Thanks so much for listening. And uh, we're going to come back with a basically the flip side, the reverse question, and uh, talk about that next as well, okay? Good Good night. Good night. Thank you so much for listening to another episode of Tony the Movie Guy, the podcast. Movies that you hate, that everyone else loves. Just a quick reminder, follow us on all of our social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, at Tony the Movie Guy. And please email us your feedback and any other questions you might have at Tony the Movie Guy podcast at gmail.com. And most importantly, please rate and review our podcast on iTunes. I'm not sure how to do it from Android, but I know from an iPhone or if you have an iTunes account, that's the best way to do it. Those reviews really, really help get our podcast out there to more people. Um, So that would be incredibly helpful. And if you have any trouble with that, I know a couple people have, um, you can go ahead and um, email us and I can send you like a video on how to do it. Or um, if you know us personally, you can text either Tony or myself and we'll help you sort that out. So, Um, we'll be back very shortly with our movie review of Blade Runner 2049. So stay tuned for that. And other than that, we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.